The election is over. Um, Trump won over Harris with 301 versus 226 electoral votes. Um, obviously, everyone has their opinions, which I, w I say everyone's entitled to. On social media, I'm seeing people jumping for joy that he's back. I'm also seeing other people crying and scared as to what's to come. Um, since he's won, Trump has already come out and said that he's going to be his first day. He's going to start on deportation. He's going to increase oil and gas drilling, pardon members of January 6th mob from the Capitol. Also, he's going to try to end the war in Ukraine. Um, you know, talking to you guys, you know, do we have anything to say to these people who are distraught about this outcome? You know, I'm seeing people crying and devastated. Maybe we have some advice for them. Um, or maybe do we want to say congrats to the people who are happy for the outcome? You know, I just I, yeah. I just want to talk about what you guys have to say. And you want to go first? It. No, for sure. I think for the people out there, I look at it like this. Um, as a country, my advice I would give everyone, luminary community, even if the decision didn't turn out in your favor, as a country, we all got to come together. There's not always going to be things that we feel is right. But at the end of the day, when it comes to our lives being affected, we got to all know that the only way we're going to get to where we want to go is by working together. So I'm just praying and hoping that as a people, as a community, as a nation, we can look at what needs to be done and we work together to get those things done. I mean, that's a good point. I would say when... Biden won the election the first time and people were saying the election was stolen and not accepting results. Now we're accepting the results now. It should have always been accepted. The people have spoken. I, I don't mind saying I did not vote for Trump, but the fact that he's president, it is what it is. The, he, he won a popular vote. He won the electoral college vote. And now if you're a Democrat, you have to realize or think, what are we not doing right that the majority of the country is saying that we need to fix. And it's time to really stop, like you're saying, stop bickering and fighting and come together. My thing that I hope Trump does is not spend too much time bantering with things that are, e that are irrelevant. If, if, a, if a, someone in the entertainment sector says something about you, who cares? You don't like, want him going at people on Twitter? Say it again? You don't want him going at all those people on Twitter? No, man, we, like f inflation, fix that. Like you say, we're going to do stop the wars. Like, oh, I'm sorry, X. Do what you say that you were going to do and focus on those things instead of like the small things that do not matter. But at the end of the day, I'm hoping that he does a great job because I live in this country mm -hmm. and I don't have time to be complaining about he didn't lose. If your candidate didn't win, it is what it is. And you just move on as a country. We just come together. We got to get past this. Yeah, I thought one thing, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I um, I kind of look at the stock market and I thought it was interesting what happened with the stock market as soon as What's he was happened? elected. What's happened? Stock market went nuts. Stock every single, everything that I everything had in the up. stock went crazy. I looked at my stocks. I said, boy. <laughs> I, hey, you put me on like oh. three or four stocks and I was like, I, I was going to text you. I know you were. I did see somebody on social media saying like, okay, at, at least make some good of it and, and invest in some stocks and make some money off of this kind of thing. Yeah, they said that. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen this, but uh, supposedly the billionaires got a lot of money. Elon Musk got a lot of money. 16 billion. There you go. Well, um, duh. They, <laughs> like, that's they, his right hand. What, the, the investments. The investments. The investments, oh, okay, the investments okay. from the stock market I going see. up. They made like gajillions of money. Uh, what's the guy that does Facebook? Uh, uh, you're Mark, talking about uh, Mark, Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. He made, they were naming like a whole bunch of them. And I just thought that was, doesn't that seem really interesting, guys? Like, hey, I, I, listen, I, when I woke up, I was, I was kind of happy to see that. <laughs> every stock, every stock went up except AMC. And I'm about to jump out of that. I even got Troop. Uh, Trump social media. I even bought into that stock. I don't oh, care. Oh, wow. So, you, you're going to make money. Didn't vote for him, and I'm investing in him. <laughs> you know what I'm seeing on social media that I'm kind of like, I'm very surprised at is that a lot of people who were, you know, Democratic and did not want Trump to win, they have been putting pretty, like, hateful messages out there. And mm. I was, I've been so surprised on that. You know, like, D like um i hope you and all your you know just wish i don't even want to repeat it it's just these people who who didn't win and didn't their 
their person didn't win, they're saying stuff like, you know, I don't care about you and your family and I, I hope bad things happen to you. And, you know, I don't ever want to talk to you again. And, you know, everyone has their, yeah, their opinions and entitles. But that was just so surprising to me because I feel like a lot of people were against you know trump because of his like you know dangerous rhetoric and and mm. things of his, that he does and he says and i'm like mm. i i just don't get how they're any better by saying that kind of stuff like i i feel like it's very hypocritical and i it's so sad to see you know i yeah. just i i'm so surprised that that's been happening yeah you're gonna have your hypocrites out there for sure um, <laughs> yes and they're not going anywhere and I know for me, uh, taking a break from social media for that November 5th was not a bad idea because right. you saw all kinds of different people coming out saying all kinds of crazy things. And it was like, look, we get it. Your person won. But like there's certain things like you realize there's going to be people that follow you that don't need to see you gloating and saying certain things. Just keep it professional. You know, so and that's that's no, another I'm side of being divisive in the country. It's like if your candidate won, you just move on. And if your candidate lost, you know, you, you move on. That's out, what's going to happen. Yes. Yeah. I, but I'm just I think it's really sad to see people who are like their stances for, you know, everyone being equal and, and all this stuff. And then they're just having super dangerous rhetoric to the people who did win. Like, that's just yeah. crazy to me right and now. And I don't know if you all saw this. Um, it's a little off topic, but I'll go into it since we're talking about um, election. There was a gentleman, I don't know this guy's name, but he basically posted on Instagram, um, your body, our choice. Yes, and I saw that. He was... And there were all kinds of ladies yes. going at him. And I was yeah. like, dude, you could have... He was trolling. Keep, keep that stuff. To he was trolling. That's a hard line, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that's a hard crazy. line. Your body, my choice, and bro. That's hard. That's rough. But, you know yeah. that it, it is dangerous on the other side. That you know that I'm arguing too. Like people are coming out and saying crazy things that are on the Republican side. Like obviously, not all Democrats and not all Republicans are saying these kinds of things. But there are people who are saying really funny things. Like you just said, your body, my choice. Well, what about all the text messages that are going around? Um, the country of African Americans, and then they're saying like, "Oh, meet me here." Um, yeah. Have you guys oh, the seen picking that? the picking like, cotton. Picking the cotton. Yeah. So I mean, people are getting bold. Yeah, they're getting real bold for even doing that. At the end of the day, I'm just hoping that um, just Trump does everything he can to just bring the country together yeah. for left or right, that's and it. that's the only thing that you can hope for for the country because you know the stock market is going up is is it's just a sign of the majority of the people were just tired of inflation, tired of the prices, and it didn't matter what he said that was disrespectful. It didn't affect going home and not being able to feed their families, and they didn't care about what he was saying. Hey, if you're gonna fix this economy, I don't care what you say about anybody. Just fix this economy and fix my family, and I think that's why people voted for. Them and it is what it is. The nicest thing that I heard someone from the left say is he goes, I don't like if you voted for Trump because you're tired of the inflation and you're tired of the economy and you're tired of this and tired of that and you think he's going to fix it. Like, you know, I, I, I truly hope that happens for you. But if you voted for him because, you know, of his of his hateful rhetoric and, and these other things like that's that's not cool. And, you know, yeah, but I thought it was nice of him at least to be like, well, my side didn't win, but I hope I hope it works out for you, which is I feel like that's how we all should be. No, absolutely. No. I got a question for you. Do you think he's going to be in his second term, be a better president in his first term? Or you think it's going to be the same or will he have a drop off? Um, It's going to well, it's going to be his last presidency. So I think he's going to make as many changes as he can. I think he's going to try and go as hard as he can. He doesn't have, <laughs> he doesn't have another chance after this. Every Supreme Court going to be uh, to the right. <laughs> Yeah, um every justice. It's I don't know what to expect, y'all, to be honest with you. I don't know. Th this man is like <laughs> I don't know what to expect with him. Like one thing is I know he's going to release all these proud boys from prison. I just know. Oh, that. that's facts. That's that's what I said. I like know. he's going to pardon the members of the January 6th mob. Yeah. He's pardoning yes. them. Like he already said that that's part of it. Like he's going to yeah. start to do that on day 1. Yeah, the rest I I got Stay tuned. That's a, a stay tuned. <laughs> this is insane. But I, I do, don't know what's I do feel bad for all the people who are like devastated and crying and worried about their future. Like that's just an uh obviously it's gonna end in four years his his term, but a lot of their anxiety is going to be like on edge for every day for the next four years. Like that is just really sad because some, some people are not just worried about themselves. They're worried about their family members. They're worried about their sisters, their moms, their 
you know, daughters, cousins and stuff. So I do feel bad for that. How quick do you think the borders are going to close? He said day one. Um, I, I don't know. It's gonna, it's tough. I'm I'm trying to read the news. They're saying Car- Caravan immigrants, uh, they rush to uh, to the border. So many of them are leaving, and I, who knows what's true over there? I mean, it's rough. Yeah. And, and I mean, is any president going to actually fix the border? Like seriously? So no. I have a question. A little bit of a lighter. I mean, it's still on the heavier side, but a little bit of a lighter portion of it. What about all the people who said that they were going to leave the country? Like, do you think anybody, be, if Trump won, like, do you think that any of them will actually leave? Because there's like a list of celebrities that are like, okay, if he wins, like, I'm going to a different country. Do you think that we'll see anybody I, actually move? I, I, you know what? I'm looking at it through a different prism this time. I, I just see, like, you can't argue with the majority. If the majority of the people are speaking, it's like, what are we doing here? It's like, maybe the other side might be right in in terms of certain things. And when I hear people on the left, the dramatic left, because I'm, I'm more to the left as well with conservative values, I just don't understand what the bickering is still going to, what are we going to do with all the bickering? Nothing's going to change. You have been bickering for four years. I think that, you know, if if the means are there and you can do that, yeah, it won't be a problem. They'll move out of this country. If you have the money to do it, yeah, they're they out of here. That's not even a question or thought. They're probably gone right now. <laughs> <laughs> heard, you heard, like, hey, they're listening right now. Hey, first of all, I'm already here. Yeah. I heard some people started yeah. packing up oh, like yeah. the day that oh, it yeah. was announced. If money, is not a, if money is not an issue, oh, psh, they left in November 6th. They were gone already. I think a lot of people are moving to London, too, mm, yeah, is what UK. I hear. I'm trying to look up a full list of celebrities that are leaving the country. I'm trying to see if I can pull all the celebrities up that are leaving the country. It's going to take me a little well, time. People who have who have threatened it. I know Tom Hanks threatened it. Cardi B threatened it. Um, America Ferrera, which I think America Ferrera is actually going on doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, so off just that, that's just off the top of my head. But I know l- tons of celebrities who oh, have been yeah. like, I'm leaving. Because you think about it. it. I mean, with them, Out. you could always leave and come back. I mean, <laughs> yes, facts. I mean, we both have went out of the country. You, you left, had your passport, came right back. You're a U.S. citizen. Yeah. They ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> you're a U.S. citizen. And you got money? Oh, no. They're going to be like, psh, psh, okay, go on, come in. Um, what, what's my man that did Edward Scissorhands? Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp has not lived in this country for many years. His kids go to school like in another country. And then because uh-huh. he didn't want his kids dealing with celebrity and like, um, them uh, you know bothering his kids so he was like i'm just gonna move my entire family out of the country and he was like we'll come back for award shows and things like that That, man these people left is it that's funny do you think it's fair though that they can leave like because they have all that money is it kind of like well what about the rest of us yeah life's life's not fair okay i got a question for you (laughs) now if if someone could give you some money to leave the country would you just do it but that's like i wouldn't because i'm i don't want to be away from my family there's like there's other things that are attached to it. It's not that deep, right? Not that it's not that deep. It's just I don't want you. Be, I don't want to be away from my family. I wouldn't do it. I just I just wouldn't do it personally, even if I had the money. I ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere, Francois. You guys already know what you guys already know the the vibes I'm on. Y'all already know the vibes. You guys know how I roll. What country are you going to? <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> that that's actually should be the question. What country are you going to? Cause I'll be gone. Where are you going? Uh, maybe Mexico. I'll be posted know. up in the south of France somewhere. <laughs> I'll be gone. France wide France. <laughs> be out. Hey man, we're gonna take a uh, quick break. This is uh, Eric Bellinger. Feelings never die. We'll be right back. New song.